All right, one more technique for rethinking temptation. This one's kind of similar to the one I just shared with clip art versus picture versus photos. It's another way of looking at something that's tempting and then stripping away the details that are so tempting about it by using a simple mental trick that I'm calling it something else. So you might have heard of this marshmallow test. You have probably seen videos online about it or heard about it. The idea was that they had kids come in and they put a marshmallow in front of them and they said, I'm going to leave for 10 minutes. And when I come back, I will give you two marshmallows that you can eat as long as you don't eat this one while I'm gone. Okay, so kids are now sitting in a room all by themselves with this marshmallow, starring them in the face and that and I don't know if you remember being a kid or not but marshmallows are amazing and you want them right away you want them right now and kids have a hard time controlling their impulses so you can imagine sitting there for 10 minutes waiting for this adult to come back and the whole time you're trying to avoid eating this marshmallow and if you do it it means you are going to get a bigger long-term reward. So again, this is a case of smaller sooner versus larger later. They call it the delay of gratification paradigm. And so we can learn from some of these kids by seeing what they had to do in order to successfully resist temptation. And when the researchers would give kids different kinds of strategies, which ones help them more than others. So when kids have to actively control their impulses and avoid eating the candy or the marshmallow in front of them, what is that they do? Now I will go ahead and post a link to this on the course. Hopefully the YouTube video is, is still up, but this is just an adorable and amazing video where you can see a recent version of the marshmallow test to the original marshmallow test were done throughout the 60s and 70s but there was a new video crew that had some recent kids have to go through the experiment themselves and you can just see the pain on their faces and the strategies that they are trying to use in order to resist the temptation that's in front of them, knowing full well that there is a bigger reward coming in the long term if they can resist. Okay, so one effective strategy that these researchers found is the use of rethinking or thinking of these temptations as something else. On study, ask kids either to make the marshmallow into a picture of a marshmallow in your mind and half the kids were given this instruction and tested to see how well it worked and how well they resisted the temptation. And other kids were said we are told see it as a real marshmallow sitting right in front of you so you can see the first case is a case where you are being a little more abstract if you think of it as a picture. It's not anything you can actively eat. It's not something that it has like the smell and the tastes and everything that makes a marshmallow so alluring. Whereas in the other condition, when you see it as a real marshmallow, you are focusing on all the things you could do to that marshmallow to squeeze it and taste it and eat it and enjoy it. And so again, what we are doing a little bit is this difference between abstract and concrete thinking. But the way these researchers put it is that it's a difference between hot and cold ways of thinking. A hot way of thinking is focusing on the emotional pleasure stuff that can come from something that you are thinking about. Whereas the cold version is the more belief-driven, rational way of thinking about things. So by picturing the marshmallow as an image that was surrounded by a picture frame, it's now not anything that has those components to it compared to when it's a real marshmallow in front of you. 
So what they find is that compared to kids who are thinking of these marshmallows and actual marshmallow sitting in front of them, tempting them, calling to them. The kids who instead pictured it as a picture in a frame were better able to resist. They were able to wait much longer for the adult to come back with the full benefits and not end up eating the marshmallow before it was too late. And kids said things like, well, you can eat a picture. So this strategy works because you are constraining your rethinking the temptation as something that is not that tempting. And that's the real crux of this technique. So other times, rather than being about this is a picture versus the is something real, you can even think about the temptation as a totally separate thing at all. So some kids will look at the marshmallow and think, oh, I just pictured it as a cloud. You can eat a cloud, so it looks like a cloud. I'm just convincing myself and pretending that it's a cloud. Other kids will say things like, it's a pillow. So again, you are taking the temptation and you are mentally transforming it into something that's not anything that's going to tempt you to eat it. So as another exercise, let's say you are being really tempted by a candy bar like this, a chocolate bar with all the sweet and wonderful stuff in it that you really want to eat, but it's going to break your long-term goals. Well, if you look at this, and instead you go, you know what that looks like. Looks like a log in the forest. Now all of a sudden that candy bar you know, why would I? I'm picturing it as a log and all of a sudden all the stuff about a candy bar that's so great isn't there anymore. And so just by tricking myself using my imagination in this way, it might seem crazy. This is not something that's just for kids. It can actually work as long as you are willing to roll with it. It can help reduce the temptation. So reconstruct a temptation as a something else that's not as alluring when you feel tempted to eat something that's going to go against your long-term goals figure out a way to think about the temptation in a different light and a different light. Especially that's going to reduce its alluring properties. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.